this Saturday we'll be streaming the gallops live from here in Newmarket on our Facebook page. If you haven't already, then head over to Facebook and hit like on our page, Martin Smith Racing, so you'll get a notification when we go live. We'll be streaming from about 10 o'clock, and this week we'll feature six horses and riders. In the Red is a winner of eight races. He was our last runner before the lockdown, winning at Kempton and landing a gamble for his owners at Sunville Rail Limited. He's called Frankie at home. He was nicknamed by his owners who were Chelsea fans and bought him on the day that Frank Lampard retired. Frankie is the oldest horse in our yard and he notoriously only puts the effort in when he chooses to, but when he does, he still takes all the beating. Herringswell is a progressive filly who joined us in the new year. Since dropping back to six furlongs, she's won all three of her last starts and looks to be in great shape for when racing resumes. Break the Rules is a half-sister to the prolific Arch My Boy. She's already a winner on the flat and has shown some great potential over hurdles. Break the Rules is also part of the Martin Smith Racing Club where anyone can become an owner for £7.99 a month. Affluence was the most progressive horse in our yard last year, winning five races and being placed several times. He's also been placed over hurdles and has been a great fun horse for the Affluence partnership who own him. Alia Torek is a half-brother of Affluence and won his first race at the start of this year. He's still improving and has had a couple of runs over hurdles. Alia Torek is also in the Martin Smith Racing Club. Friends Don't Ask is our gentle giant. He is the Martin Smith Racing Club's stable star and looks to have a very bright future. He's finished third in a bumper at Worcester with Leighton Aspel and fourth in a maiden hurdle at Fakenham with Jamie Moore. Both jockeys have come back to me afterwards and told me what a great horse he's going to be in a year or two. The riders we've got on Saturday are our very own stable apprentice, Jay Clark. Jay has had about 15 rides so far and has been placed several times. This winter he had a spell riding in Bahrain where he finished second on both of his rides over there. Abby joined us at the end of last year and has proved to be a great asset to our team. She's very good at calming highly strung horses and has a great future ahead of her in racing. Jonathan joined us about a year and a half ago with very little riding experience. He's still studying at college and comes and helps out in his spare time. Although he's very young, Jonathan is fanatical about racing and has a great knowledge of the sport. We'll also be joined on Saturday by Cheltenham Festival winning jockey, Nick Schofield. Nick has ridden for me several times. He's a very professional jockey and his feedback has always been spot on. Nick has based himself riding out in Newmarket since the lockdown began and will be schooling for me once we start getting the horses ready to go jumping again. Jimmy Quinn and I have shared one of our greatest racing moments together. When Jimmy won the Nunthorpe on Kingsgate Native, it was his first Group 1 winner and the first time I saddled a Group 1 winner. I was the assistant trainer representing John Best at the time. I also looked after Kingsgate Native and rode him myself every day. It's a day I'm sure neither of us will ever forget. Owen Walsh has ridden several winners for us and will also be joining us on Saturday. Although he doesn't get as many opportunities as he deserves, Owen is not only a very professional jockey, but he's also a great horseman. On Saturday, we'll show you three separate gallops on the Cambridge Road Gallop, and then afterwards, we'll go and join the riders and hear their feedback. We'll be able to answer any questions you have at the time. I look forward to seeing you all then. In the meantime, I hope you stay safe. <laughs>